plan to make a natural playground for the community and kids of Stevie Baker Preschool. We're feeling uh, pretty confident that this will work out. And we worked very hard on this for a very long time, so hopefully this will work. We hope to inspire and influence and uh, help kids of all ages. Hello, my name is Nolan Fox, and I'm here with my friends, Abid, Aiden, and Michael. And this is Operation Outdoors Place, a place, a place where kids can be kids. This is the outdoor space that we're going to be working with. Grants and money, the total, $7,500. We got a $5,000 grant from the Ohio Spend Learning Network. We got $2,500 from the school, and we are hoping to get the grant from the Ohio Education Association for $5,000. We will know if we get that grant by the end of the month. Model. This is the model we have created in Tinkercad.
Thank you. Twenty twenty two OSLN Design Challenge. Our design Operation Outdoor Space. We are Lila Price, Brooklyn McClure, Hannah Rao, and Ashlyn O'Connor. We are in the sixth grade. Our teacher is Mrs. Ashcraft, and we are at Studebaker. Designing the play space and making uh, painting the rocks. And I hope when this, uh, I hope when this thing is done, we can people will come out and enjoy it and use it like we wanted them to. During this project, um, I realized how important the play is to children. And this experience is one that I would like to remember forever. And I really like getting to do all the 3D modeling, regular, regularly modeling, and getting to work on something really big with my friends and classmates. So I really like this project, and I think it's really going to help um, other people in the future. And we even got help from the community and many other people. So I'd like to thank everybody that helped me and my classmates during this project. That's just amazing how it's going to help so many kids. That's one thing I can say before, but I just, I can, something I can say, it's going to help many kids and I'm sure there's going to be many people to say thank you. Thank you, Sid. Um, we have three of the people from the video that are here now. They can turn on their cameras. We have uh, Brooklyn and Lila and Ashlyn, and uh, hi girls. They um, have a presentation that they're gonna share with us about Operation Outdoor Space. And I know we're starting a couple minutes late because I had uh, trouble getting that video going, but we're gonna let you each introduce yourselves, tell what grade you are in, and then start your presentation.
Lila, you want to start? Um, my name is Lila Price, and I'm in the sixth grade. And my name is Ashlyn O'Connor. I am also in sixth grade. My name is Brooklyn McClure, and I am also in sixth grade. Great. So do you know how to share your screen, Ashlyn? Whenever you're ready. Global Innovation Field Trip. Our design, Operation Outdoor Space. Our names are Lila Price, Brooklyn McClure, and Ashley Hannah, O'Connor. Hannah Rell is in our group, but she could not make this meeting, so she, we will be following in for her. We are in the sixth grade. Our teacher is Mrs. Ashcraft, and we are at Studebaker. The problem is children and other community members have very limited outdoor play items at Studebaker Preschool. There are a few items out there, but multiple of the items are exclusive to all ages and abilities. Our driving question for this project is how can we design and create an outdoor space that is appropriate and inclusive for all ages and abilities? The solution. The solution to the problem is to build a safe play space for all ages and abilities. People that come to watch sports who use the food pantry, source students, and community members will be able to come and play. Huber Heights will be a better place because we don't have many parks and this will be an enjoyable experience for all ages. We think this will be successful because preschoolers will most likely enjoy this more than what they have now. It would also be an appropriate play space for all ages and it would benefit the community. This project is innovative, innovative because we are creating a play space with natural things instead of just buying a playground set. We researched the importance of a multi-sensory space, including cognitive, language, social, emotional, physical, and creative development. We have support from many community members like the Huber Heights Parks Manager and the Five Rivers Metro Parks. The design cycle. This is our design process. Here are the steps. First, we defined a problem, which was how kids in the preschool weren't getting enough play in their space. Then we collected information, which was in all of our key findings. Next, we brainstormed ideas we had to come up with in this design, which will be shown on the model page. Next, we presented to key stakeholders, for example, preschool teachers, the principal, parents, the superintendent. We got lots of feedback. We are currently improving our design based on the feedback we have received. Research and key findings. All of our research and key findings came from the following sources. Interviews, field trip experiences, experts in the field and community members, and other resources such as the book Last Child in the Woods by Richard Louv. Children spend four to seven minutes a day on average in unstructured outdoor play. Children spend an average of seven and a half hours every day in front of electronic media, both of those that we got from National Recreation and Park Association. Multi-sensory play spaces help develop cognitive, social, and emotional, language, physical, and creative skills. Outdoor activity reduces attention deficit disorder. A lack of physical activity has led to serious health problems, chronic diseases, and obesity. Outdoor activity, activities stimulate your senses in a positive way. It improves your sense of attention, lowers stress, and puts you in a better mood in general due to the vitamin D. Outdoor play is proven to dramatically improve standardized test scores and grade point averages. Outdoor play increases the ability to critically think, problem solve, and make decisions. This is a graph that we got from the Washington Post about what going outside does for you. Here are some pictures of our guest speakers.
and here are some pictures of us on our field trips and us creating our model. What will go on the playground? There will be multiple items that will go on the playground, but a few of them are the hollow log, the musical fence, wind chimes, and a teepee. These are subject to change depending on the averages of likes and dislikes. We made a 3D model of what we want our outdoor space to look like. We have some pictures you will see on the next couple of slides. Here are some pictures of our online 3D model and our hands-on 3D model. And this is our model and prototype. In the back where Ashton is pointing at, we have the mural, the art easels, the TP, the tire tower, the hollow log, the storage bin, the balance scale, and the magnifying station, the collection table, the picnic table, the tree stumps, the little library, and tic-tac-toe. We do have grants and money for the space. We have a $5,000 grant from the Ohio STEM Learning Network, a $5,000 grant from the Ohio Education Association. We also have a 20, an additional $2,500 from Studebaker School. That comes out to a total of $12,500. Who we presented to? We have presented to a group of stakeholders, which include a Girl Scout leader, the superintendent, preschool teachers, YMCA teachers, parents, community members, Doug Horbath, who represented for the Five Rivers Metro Parks, and Josh King, Parks Manager. This is our feedback. The ones that are highlighted in green are an average of four and above. This is separate feedback from the stakeholders. We have warm feedback and cool feedback. Our next steps are design and paint the mural, installation of natural playground company equipment, planting spaces, ribbon cutting ceremony, future operation outdoor space updates and additions will be added by the new sixth grade SOAR class. Here are some credits we would like to give. We would like to give a big special thank you to Mrs. Ashcraft for all of her help. We could not do this without. We would also like to say thank you to the sixth grade SOAR class for helping us design. Thank, thank you. Thank you. A great presentation. I know Sid has questions about this one. Yes, I do. Like, when do you think it'll be ready? Um, we, I think in the next couple of years. Okay. I must say the, the kids at the school must be, um, must be really, really, really excited. And, and how much do you think, how much money is it again? Um, it's around $12,500. Um, I don't know the exact cost right now but it's around that area. So you've made your final design or do you think you're gonna add some more changes? Um, I think we are going to be changing it. Okay, so it's, you're still, so it's not like official completed with the um, materials and stuff that you're adding on. Well, some stuff has already been ordered, but there's a few things that we're debating on ordering the more expensive things we're still debating on ordering, but we've already ordered a few things. Okay.
And some things will be decided by the new sixth grade SOAR class, so there definitely are changes to come. Okay, I was just asking because I, I didn't know if it was like, well, you know what the entire thing is, or you're still adding changes. So it looks like it's, this is, a re, I have to say, this is a really good idea. And I'm sure one day kids of all ages are going to be playing in your, in the playground. I wanted to say quickly that uh, my husband went to Studebaker uh, way back when, and he's been listening, and he's very impressed with what you girls are doing, and a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.